All right, so in this video, we're going to look at uh, finding the quotient of complex numbers written in trigonometric form. All right, so let's suppose we have two complex numbers. Both of them are in trigon trigonometric form. And the r of 2, r sub 2, times cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2 is not equal to 0 because that would give us a zero in the, den in the denominator. Okay, So if we want to uh, divide the two complex numbers, well, then it's r1 over r2 times the cosine of theta1 minus theta2. See, theta1 is in the complex number in the numerator. Theta2 is in the complex number in the, in the denominator. So it's cosine theta1 minus theta2 plus i times, se times sine of theta1 minus theta2. All right, so let's look at our example. So here we want to divide these two. All right, so first we know it's r1 over r2, so that's going to be 10 over 5 times the cosine of negative 60 degrees minus 150. Okay, so remember it's theta 1 minus theta 2 plus i times sine of 60 degrees minus 150 degrees. Okay, so now we know, well, 10 over 5, that's just 2. And then that's going to be times the cosine, and then this is negative 210. So, oh, so that's cosine of negative 210 degrees plus i times sine of negative 210 degrees. All right, so this is what we would, this is what we would get if we're uh, dividing. And this is the solution in trigonometric form. Well, let's go ahead and write our answer in rectangular form. All right, so I need to figure out what the cosine and sine of negative 210 degrees is. All right, so, well, you know, there's, there's a couple of th ways we can do this. Uh, I think the best way is to use the use coterminal angles. All right, so what we can do is we can add 360 to this negative 210 to get it back to get the angle between 0 and 360 so we can evaluate them. Okay? Remember coterminal angles. So remember and this is not the negative 210. This is just a quick explanation of coterminal angles. So let's say that we have an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. Well, if we start here and we go around and come back to this line here, well, we went around 360 and then 30 more, so that would be 390 degrees. Okay. These are coterminal angles. They have the same terminal side. All right. So if we take the sine, cosine, or tangent, or whatever of 30 degrees and 390 degrees, they're the same. Okay. The values of the sine, cosine, and tangent of coterminal angles are the same. Okay. They have the same terminal side, just different amounts of rotation. And the way that we get coterminal angles for instance, the 30 degrees, well, you add 360 to it. You can also subtract 360, okay? But we could add 360, and if we wanted to, we could go around again and add 360 again. And if we did that, we would get an angle measure of 750 degrees. And 750 degrees is coterminal with 30 degrees. So all three of these angles would have the same sine and cosine value and tangent value. Okay, It's just easier to evaluate sine and cosine when it's a positive number rather than a negative. Okay, So we've got, let's do this, I guess we'll do it here. Alright, so we've got negative 
210 degrees plus 360 degrees. Okay, so negative 210 plus 360, that gives me 150 degrees. Okay, so we know that this 150 degrees is here in the second quadrant. There's 150. And see, all it is, this angle here, there's your negative 210 degrees. Okay, they have the same they have the same terminal side. So the sine and cosine of 150 is the same as the sine and cosine of negative 210. All right. All right, so remember to to get this, yeah, if you if you've got the unit circle memorized, then you already know it, but and you can write it down, but let's go ahead and use reference angles. So I use a subscript R on theta to represent my reference angle. Well, the reference angle is 180 minus the 150. That'll give me this angle here. So the reference angle is 180 minus 150. So my reference angle is 30 degrees. And I have videos on reference angles if you need to check those out. All right, so there's the 30 degrees. All right, so our complex number written in uh, rectangular form is going to be 2 times, and then I've got the cosine of negative 210. Well, remember, that's the same as the cosine of 150. Okay. Well, the cosine of 30 degrees is what? Square root of 3 over 2. Okay. So that's going to give us this value, square root of 3 over 2, or 1 half, or whatever. But now, I know my angle is 150, which is in the second quadrant and cosine is what in the second quadrant? It's negative. So that's going to make it a negative square root of 3 over 2. Plus and then I times and then the sine of negative 210. Well remember that's the same as the sine of 150. So the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. 150 is in the second quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant so it's positive one half and then I need to distribute the two so that's going to give me negative square root of three plus and then two times one half is one so that's I and there's my solution alright so I hope this video helped and if you need to review on uh, evaluating uh, trig functions Okay, using reference angles, I have some videos on that that you can check out. Okay, all right, so uh, give me a like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.